hello welcome to tech chinmay in this session we will learn about alarm keyword of display file so mainly we are going to discuss about the display file output keyword and alarm is one of them okay so first of all we will see what is alarm keyword so if i take this program in uh, browse mode so let's say if i take option 5 here and if i want to let's say if uh, i write something here then what it will happen like it will uh, generate one sound that is alarm sound and a beep sound so let's check so if i write something so we got this sound right so this is the alarm uh, this sounds comes from alarm keyword or alarm keyword indicator so in this session we are going to see how we can generate this sound so let's see so for that i have created one display file so this is my display file i will take option 17 here now this is my record if i take 12 option here so this is mainly for the ui purpose so i have declared these fields and there is one input field and i have declared some footers date time okay so this is just for the display purpose but uh, our main focus will be on that keyword so how we will set that keyword now here we will take option 8 to set the indicator now just go to the output keywords put y and hit enter and here we will see that option that is sound alarm so here you have to put just y and that indicator on which you want to turn on this alarm okay now just press enter and here also we have already specified that cf03 for exit purpose so this is the basic thing right but mainly we are discussing about that alarm sound so we have set that indicator 90 indicator so this is also that's uh, the sound that is generated because of the alarm keyword now we will compile this display file now uh, i will see uh, show you the program in which we are using that indicator so here firstly i am declaring the control options below to that we have declared the sub, uh, display file and here the main logic is so in main logic we are running just one loop that uh, till the uh, till the in03 is off and here uh, on line number 20 we are in uh, turning on that indicator so once this indicator is turned on it will uh, it will generate that alarm sound and below to that we are just assigning some name to my pgm name field so and after that we are just exfm we are doing exfm to the record and on line number 24 the loop is ended and line number 26 inlr is on so it means last record is on now we will compile this and call this so as soon as, as i call this program it generates one alarm sound and if i hit enter again it will generate that sound again why because we have set in, uh, in logic that once the program entered in the loop in 03 is off so it will go and it will turn on that 90 indicator and that indicators uh, generate this alarm sound so whenever i press enter it will generate that sound so this is how we can generate the alarm sound with the help of that indicator or output alarm output keyword okay now what are the use of this indicator so we can make use of this indicator or this uh, output alarm keyword whenever we are doing some kind of validation let's say we are uh, validating any field let's say username is a field that we want to validate and if uh, if there is some error on that field so in that case we can assign a message with that alarm sound so that it will indicate the user that there is uh, some error on that particular field so mainly we use that alarm keyword or alarm sound just to indicate something to the user so that's all for this session in the upcoming session we will discuss few more keywords so thank you for watching tech